For the fourth year in a row, an Indiana lawmaker is pushing the state to require schools to test for a cancer-causing gas. Radon is the number one cause of lung cancer among non-smokers. WRTV Investigates' Kara Kenny has been tracking this issue since 2018 and joins us now with what the bill could do. The bill would require schools to test the lowest level of their building by 2027 and report the results to the State Department of Health. Lawmakers have been trying for years to get a requirement passed, and one lawmaker, well, this is the fourth time he's filed this bill. Radon is odorless, colorless, and tasteless. The only way to know if it's there is to test for it. Representative Mike Andrade filed House Bill 1252, which would require schools to test for radon and mandate the state to gather the results in a database. This is the fourth year he's filed the bill. Andrade is a Democrat. Republicans make up the majority of the legislature, so he knows it's an uphill battle. This bill is to find solutions uh, to the issues that we have when it comes to rate and gas. This is not a one party policy issue. This should be a bipartisan issue. Andrade points out federal funds are available to help schools pay for testing and remediation. WRTV Investigates has been covering this problem for six years. In 2018, we spoke with Annie Cacciato, who had stage four lung cancer from radon. And you can prevent this for your family, and that's why I'm here today to talk about it. Why are you upset? Are you thinking about it? Well, because it's preventable. Following her diagnosis, Annie learned her workplace and high school contained toxic levels of radon. The EPA estimates one in five schools has a classroom with dangerous levels. There are thousands of children in schools right now breathing in air day after day that is damaging their lungs. Annie continued to advocate for radon testing until she succumbed to cancer in 2021. Indiana does not require schools to test. WRTV Investigates surveyed more than a dozen school districts in central Indiana and found most have not tested for radon in the last decade. The EPA recommends schools test at least once every five years, but it's only a recommendation. Andrade says that must change. Because it has to do with, once again, the health of our children and our educators. When it comes to that, uh, it shouldn't be something that we should think about. It should be a priority. The bill has been assigned to the House Education Committee. No word yet on if it will get a hearing. Kara Kenny, WRTV.